something you might actually find enjoyable, something that's worthwhile. But um, my, name is, my name is Mitch Altman. I turn TVs off for a living, and I love my job. <laughs> and I wish other people did, too. The world might actually be a better place if that were the case. It seems that, uh, to me anyways, we live in a world where people are addicted to money. We're addicted to a bunch of things to divert ourselves from things that might be uncomfortable. But money is one of the primary things I want to talk about now. And like any addictive substance, money can give a rush, but it doesn't make anybody happy. At its best, it's only a resource, one of many resources. If we don't have enough resources for our basic human needs, such as like food and shelter, uh, then it's certainly a situation that's conducive for our unhappiness. But any more money than that is needed for living a life we really want to live is probably conducive for, uh, not conducive for living a fulfilling life. In fact, it's probably conducive for being unhappy because of all the time it takes to make that money. Time that could be much better used to do something useful and worthwhile, such as exploring and doing what excites you, what you find passion in doing. Of course, there's nothing wrong with profit. We live in a world where we need money. It is a resource. But when the primary focus is money, there are consequences. Not always good. There's no guarantee, first of all, that you'll make profit. And yet, profit, when it takes precedence over various other important aspects of our lives, making these choices, it probably is the case that the world and your life becomes worse as a result. Conversely, if the primary focus of the endeavors in your life is to explore and do what you love, whatever that might be for you, then it's probably the case that over time, you'll improve your life and the lives of those around you. And though there's no guarantee, it's not unlikely that as a result of doing what you love, you may get enough of what you need to keep doing what you love. This is possible. And this is the def definition of success as I like to see it. It is also my definition of good art. And as such, I like to see myself as an artist in this light. I'll come back to that.